look at another problem. The open loop transfer function of unity feedback system is given by g of s is equal to k by s into s plus a, where k and a are positive constants. So the first part of the problem, find the k and a values to satisfy the frequency domain specifications. MR is 1.04 and omega R is 11.55 radian per second. Second part of the problem, for this k value, find bandwidth, peak time, gain margin and phase margin, settling time of the system. So, we have a second order system that is open loop transfer function g of s is k by s into s plus a, both k and a both are variables. So, we need to find those variables that is k and a which are uh, constants, which unknown values therefore, uh, those unknown values you can find out for given specifications. So, what are the closed loop specifications we have mr is 1.04 and omega r is 11.55. Now, so we know the closed loop transfer function, the closed loop transfer function g of s, h of s and input and output we have negative feedback. Then find out what is the characteristic equation. So the standard characteristic equation you can write g h of 1 plus g h of s is equal to 0. So already g, h of, g of s is available, it is unity feedback system, h of s is 1. Therefore, when you substitute here, it is going to be 1 plus k divided by I have s into s plus a is equal to 0. Then when you write the characteristic equation, it is s square plus a s plus k is equal to 0. So this is the characteristic equation of the given second order system. And we know standard characteristic equation s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square is 0. You can simply compare them. So by comparing, then we can write k is equal to omega n square. Similarly, when you compare the second term, 2 zeta omega n is a, so zeta we can write it as a by 2 root a, or a is equal to uh, zeta 2 root k. So when you know uh, omega n and zeta value, then you can find out k and a. Then how to find omega n and uh, zeta values? The, from the given specifications, you can easily find out omega n zeta value. What is the first specification? Resonant peak MR is 1.04. We know the formula MR is 1 divided by 2 zeta under root 1 minus zeta square. We can substitute here and we can solve for that 1.04 is 1 by 2 into zeta and under root 1 minus zeta square. So when you solve this, then you are going to get uh, zeta values. There are two zeta values you will be getting. Zeta is 0.79 the another zeta value because you will be getting the second order equation for zeta and the value is 0.602. So out of these values, when you look at the first one 0.79, so for 0.79, if you re, uh, go back and when you substitute the MR equation 1 by 2 zeta into 1 minus zeta square, then MR is, is, it is not going to exist because the maximum value of allowable zeta to calculate MR is only 0.707. Therefore, the first one is invalid value, the second one is 0.602 is the valid value. So, for us uh, give, to satisfy the given uh, uh, frequency domain specification, the damping ratio of the system should be 0.602. So, having this value and by knowing the resonant frequency, you can find out the undamped natural frequency omega n. So, we know the formula omega r is omega n into 1 minus 2 zeta square. So, omega n we need to find and this is given 11.55 and zeta also we got 0 0.6, uh, 0.02. Therefore, you can substitute there and you can find out what is the omega n very easily. So, by substituting we are getting omega n is uh, 22.03 radian per second. So, this is the omega n value. So, zeta value 0 0.6 and omega n is 22.06 radian per second. Now, once you know zeta and omega n from the given specifications, you can find out the constants k and a. We already know k is equal to omega n square. Then that is going to be omega n is 22.03 whole square. So, you will have 485.3. So, this is the k value, constant k. Similarly, you can write a value. 
a is zeta into 2 into root k when you substitute zeta value then when you substitute k value then you will be getting a value as 26.53 so these are the two constant value and when you design your system with these two constant a is uh, s plus a so a is 26.53 the location of the open loop pole and the open loop gain is your 485.3 then system will give mr value as 1.04 and your omega r value is 11.55 so uh, this is the first part of the problem where we have calculated uh, both constant k and a what is the second part of the problem so in second part we need to calculate uh, all other parameters so let us the first one will take uh, settling time so what is settling time formula by default it is 2 percentage 4 by zeta omega n we know zeta 0 0.6 and omega n is approximately 22 so when you substitute that uh, you will be getting 0 0.226 seconds this is a settling time similarly you can find out the bandwidth so bandwidth omega b is omega n into there are two under roots inside so first under root is 1 minus 2 zeta square plus one more under root we have uh, 2 minus 4 zeta square plus 4 zeta power 4 so omega b depends on only zeta and zeta value we already calculated 0 0.602 then when you substitute here when you calculate and omega b is around 25.224 radian per second so this way we can find out uh, um, omega b and as well as uh, settling time and what is the gain margin the given system is second order system so for most of the second order systems the gain margin is going to be infinity because when you take any second order system which means two poles having two poles uh, when you look at the root locus for any second order system all my poles will lie in the left of the s-plane only so when poles lie for all the values of k in the left of the s-plane the system will be stable and gain margin is going to be infinity whenever root locus crosses the imaginary axis there exists the gain margin otherwise the gain margin is always infinity then what is the phase margin so we have a correlation between zeta and phase margin for second order system so that phase margin is equal to 180 plus tan inverse of so within the bracket we have 2 zeta on uh, under root minus 2 zeta square plus under root again 4 zeta power 4 plus 1. So again this surface margin depends on the damping ratio zeta for second order system. Directly we can substitute here. There are another analytical methods and graphical methods to find the phase margin. But for second order system having damping ratio in hand then we can use this formula to calculate the phase margin. So when you substitute it, it's simple calculation results in phase margin is equal to 234.84 degrees. So this way uh, we can design uh, some of the parameters in the system for given frequency domain specifications and for those uh, designed values then we can check what are the other parameters and how they are working.